He was clearly in distress and they offered no help to him at all. A few minutes into a face down, strapped down right. restraint. We're gonna leave him low and then walk. Him. The incomprehensible ramblings of a mentally ill man transformed into words easy to understand. Don't let him get me. Don't let him get me. Arthur Royball would not survive the morning. Just a part of my soul is gone. His brother Adam Hernandez will spend the rest of his life wondering why. I'm pretty tough as well, so it's. I process things a lot slower. What he does now know is this. Adams County's own policy could have prevented it. Not only do the sheriffs need to be trained again, but the, the nurses need to be retrained again. Why it took a month for Adams County to fulfill our open records request on prone or face down restraint, we cannot say. But when it finally responded, we discovered this policy. Restrained inmates shall not be placed face down or in a position that inhibits breathing. And yet, face down. <laughs> this still happened Christmas Eve morning. If you have a policy, you must educate your employees on the policy. Melissa Becker is a forensic nurse and legal nurse consultant. When she watched the video at our request, Roy Bull. Hey, buddy. she noticed its beginning, a naked and disturbed Roy Bull inside his cell a problem all jail staff should know well. Who is in an obvious mental health crisis. We want to plan ahead and get the restraint chair. She says that plan to transport him to a medical bay made sense. A chair would have kept him upright. But that's not what they did. I can't. I'm thinking, here we go again. What have people not learned? What rock? Are you living under in this era of George Floyd and not get how wrong this is? Yes, George Floyd, who died handcuffed, prone, and unable to properly breathe in 2020. Our three-year investigation has found more than 130 others, a list that now includes Arthur Royball. I don't understand how all those people in that room didn't know to to turn him over. State Representative Judy Amabile also watched the video we obtained. She calls it, quote, shocking. She says the state's newly formed Jail Standards Commission needs to take a close look at this case. They're supposed to be setting standards for jail operations so that things like this don't happen. Colorado's prisons prohibit prone restraint, same for the state's mental health hospital, but jails remain subject to their own rules, even the rules Face down. <laughs> they appear unable to follow. It's disgusting. Hernandez knows his brother battled demons almost as much as he battled the law. He says it shouldn't matter. His brother needed help that day. And he died face down, strapped down to a gurney. Even though you're a criminal, you're still a human being. He just went to me Thursday. Yeah, go ahead and start CPR. Okay, CPR, go ahead. Those deputies remain on the job. No discipline has been handed out. The county says it's waiting on the results of the autopsy that might not be finalized until April. We asked for the sheriff for an interview and county commissioners. All of them have declined. The family is now considering a lawsuit. When you talk about this video we obtained, how does that come about? State law. Mm -hmm. State law changed a couple years ago in terms of getting body cameras and making them available to the public shortly thereafter. We would not see this body camera a month and a half after the death of Arthur Royball were it not for that state law change. And if it were it not for that state law change, we might not see this body camera for two years. Wow, and I think in this piece, maybe so more than any of your others on this topic, you're starting to see the frustration start to bubble up in public safety and law enforcement circles of just like, why does this keep happening? Because again, we've known, we know, we know. We, we know, know better. This happened at the end of 2022. There have been years and years and years of this coverage. Why did this happen in 2022? Question. It is the question. Chris, thank you. That's right. You bet. All right, thank you.